Hello and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to design the simple model in FreeCAD using basic tools of Part Design Workbench and SketchUp Workbench. So, okay, first here we need to create a new document. Click on this icon. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like in this video. I also have a Ko-Fi page in which you can donate to support the channel if you want. Link to this page can be found in the description of this video. Thank you. Now go to Workbench Selector, click here and select Part Design Workbench. And now create a body and now let's go to the string page. So okay, as first step here we'll create this part. To create this part here we'll use additive tools. So we go here to Part Design, Additive Tools and we click in this arrow and we select Additive Cylinder. And first here we'll set the attachment of the cylinder. So here we'll select XY plane. And now we'll change the parameters of this cylinder. So here in this string page we can see a resolve 50 for this cylinder. And a height of 25. So we change the radius here to 50 and the height to 25 and now click OK and as you can see now we have this cylinder here and next here we'll make this fillet with a range of 15 so here we can select, select this space here and now click in this fillet tool and change the range here to 15 and now click OK and as you can see now we have this and Next here we'll create this pocket here. To create this pocket we'll use the thickness tool. So what you have to do is to first select this face here. And now we click on this thickness tool. And first here we check this option, make thickness inwards and we'll change the value of the thickness here to 5. The difference between these two ranges here is 5 millimeters. So the value of the thickness will be 5 and now click OK and as you can see now we have this pocket here and next here we will create this part to create this part we will use this tool again additive cylinder so first here we will click on this icon and now we will set the attachment of this cylinder so we select this face here and now we will change the parameters of this cylinder so here we see this diameter so the radius here will be 15 and the height of the cylinder will be 15. So here we set 15 and here we set the same and now OK. And now we have this. And next here we'll create, we'll create this part here. So what to do? Here we select this bottom face and we create a new sketch here. And now we go to sketch geometries. We go to sketch geometries and here we select slot 2 and we draw this slot here and now delete this arc okay and select arc 2 click in this origin point and draw this arc and now select this external jump tool and extra this edge here okay and now select these two cycles and set equal and okay now we have this and next here we'll set these two lines vertical so select this vertical constraint and these two lines okay and now we have two degrees of freedom so here we'll set the distance between this the center point to this origin point and the edge of this arc here so in this certain page we see 10 for the edge of this arc here and we see this distance between these center points here, 120. So here first we select this constraint here and we set the edge of this arc here to 10. And now select this vertical distance tool to set the distance between these two points here. Here we'll set the half of 120, so it will be 6. Okay, and now this sketch is full constrained and now we can draw a cycle here in this center point. So Select this cycle tool and 
through this cycle and the amount of this cycle will be a ton so we select this tool here and we set we set 10 for this cycle and now click this sketch and select path tool okay and first here we check this option reverse it and the length of this pad here will be 10 so here click ok and now we'll create these three parts so what we do we go to model and we select this pad operation and now we go to polar pattern tool and and here we change the number of occurrence to four and as you can see now we have these four parts so we click ok now and next here we'll create these pockets we'll create these pockets here so first here we select this face and create a new sketch in this face here switch to section view and now we'll draw arcs so we select this arc tool and now click in this origin point and draw these arcs Okay, and now here we'll set tangent constraints. So we go here and we select this tangent constraint and we select these two arcs and we'll do the same for these all arcs. Okay, and now here we'll set these two, we'll set these arcs equal, these three arcs. So first click escape and now select this equal constraint and now select these two arcs and now these two arcs. Okay, and now we have this. So as you can see, we have 10 degrees of freedom. So now we click on this icon and now as you can see we can draw construction geometries so first here we select this line tool and here we draw this line and now this line in this way and we'll set a smart constraint here so we'll select the smart tool and now these two endpoints and this vertical line okay and next here we'll constrain this arcs so we go to the string page and first here we see this angle here 45 degrees so what we do we select this constraint angle and now these two lines and we set 45 okay and now we'll constrain this center point to so these lines so we select this point here and now this point and we set constant and now we select this point here and this line and we set this constraint here and next click here and now select this point and this line this point and this line here this point and this line this point and this line here and now as you can see we have four degrees of freedom so now we have to set the length of these lines here and the range of these arcs okay so first here we go to this ring page and we can see a range of 1.5 for these arcs so we select this tool here and we set 1.5 for this arc here and now we'll set the distance between these center points to the region point. So first here we'll select this constraint distance tool. And for this line here we'll set a length of 32. 
so we select this down here and we set this dimension here okay and now we select this point here and this and the center point here and we set a, a distance of 22 okay and next we select this center point here and this origin point and we'll set a distance of 27 okay and now as you can see we have this sketch full concerning it with these dimensions so now we can leave this sketch and you can create a pocket here we're following to our five so now click OK and next here we'll create these three pockets here so here we go to model and we select this pocket and we go to polar pattern tool and we change the number of occurrence to four and now click OK and as you can see now we have these four pockets and next here what we'll do we'll do this fillet here and here with a range of four so here we select we can select this face here and go to a fillet tool and we change the ridge here to four okay and as you can see now we have this so click ok and next here we'll create this hole here with a diameter of 15 so select this space here and go to the hole tool and here we'll change the diameter to 15 and as you can see now we have this hole here so click OK and next here we'll create this chamfer operation here with a size of one millimeter so what to do select this edge here and select this chamfer tool and now click OK we have a size of one millimeter here so click OK and and now we finish uh, the design of this model here. So thank you for watching this video.